Hiya folks, another video for you today. We've just picked up this um, Nissan X-Trout. Uh, it's a 1.6 diesel engine. And uh, yeah, we got it yesterday. Sharon loves it. We got it for Sharon. And uh, we'll have a little look around here. But first of all, I just want to change a lamp or a bulb on the rear. One of the brake lights isn't working. So we're just going to try that out, get that sorted. You might as well come along for the ride on that one. Right, okay, so this is where the back light, or this back light lives on here. I've got a 10 mil socket. So I'm hoping it's not going to be very difficult. Hopefully it's just the bulb, she's going out in it very shortly, so, um, or we're going out in it very shortly, so I just want to make sure that this um, bulb was changed, if I can change it. I'm going to do an oil change on it, people, and an oil filter change. It's supposed to have been serviced pretty recently, but you can never say that, can you? So I'd rather do my own oil change, just to be on the safe side. I won't do a full service, I just want to make sure that the engine oil is fine. I've checked all the other fluids, which are okay. So um, this lamp is the only thing, the problem with it. So that's that. Now I'm hoping it's gonna. No, there's gonna be a bit more to it than that, isn't there? Or is that just stuck? Well, there's a bit of trim up there. Now I'm wondering if that's got to come off as well. So being in mind that's a 10 mil as well. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take these two off just for investigation. So let's get them out of there. I'll loosen that top one off first. That's only a bit of trim, you see, so I'm presuming that that could be something underneath there. Oh, there we go. Right, that's that off. Yeah, they push into their rubber clips. Right, so that's them two screws out. That thing taken off out of the way. I think this should be just a matter now of pulling it, maybe. I'm not sure. Uh, the way it's designed, I can't see any fixings being in there. So let's try and give it a pull. Oh, there we go. Right, that pulls back like that. And now, the one I'm concerned about is this top one here, which is this bulb here. That one there, the beigey coloured one, people. So I don't know whether I've got a spare bulb, so let's have a little loop for one of them. I don't think I have. Right, well, I'm going to take it out anyway, so I'm going to put that back on, because I've got to go down the car place and get one for that. So. slides back in there that's no problem there we go just like that look right so that's the tight bulb that's you can see that one's blow blown actually people look now i've got some bulbs here but i don't know whether i've got one of them let's have a little look here i've got nothing like that that's a pretty modern bulb i would have thought compared to all this other stuff i've got in here right well now i've got it out i can um get down the motor factors what's that one there no Put it then, and hopefully get one of these when I get the oil. See, I did have a look inside there. I put my hand up there and noticed that there wasn't no extra bolts in there, but I could feel plastic clips in there, so I knew that it had to come sort of maybe this way or possibly that way. So, um, anyway, that's it. I'm gonna get this bulb, folks, and then I'll uh, come back to you when I got it. All right, just got back, uh, took it down the car wash as well, people. So, um, it's a lot cleaner than what it was. Let's just set you up there for a second. Let's get that open. Right, I've got the bulb and um, also got some oil and also an oil filter. This is the uh, filter it takes. Just making sure that the rubber ring is uh, in there for the oil filter sealer. So that's the type of filter it takes on one of these. This is the 1.6 uh, diesel engine, by the way. And it takes, I think, about five and a half litres of this stuff, which is. Um, it's a C4, I think it's a low ash oil this one takes. And this is a 5W30, this is fully synthetic, so um, that's what we got there. That's coming in a different video. Right, let's get this unit back off again. I've got the new bulb here, just to let you know. I don't know if you can see that, can you? Can you read that? It says it's a W21 watt RB582. This is a ring bulb for the make ring, so um, 12 volt, 21 watt basically. Let's get this back off and get this lamp changed. Yeah, some of these. Um, Newer cars can, the back light clusters can cost sort of hundreds and hundreds of pounds. So that's one thing to note when you um, buy a new car. That things like this used to be sort of very very cheap many years ago, but uh, it costs a hell of a lot of money now. And you do need to take this off to get that out. So just remember that as well, folks. I found that out now. Right, 
there you go and literally what it is is just pull this off not it's quite tricky to do actually to be honest with you there's a gap there you can get your hand in to purchase and pull a bit more there you go and it does come off like that and you've got them as i say these three little they're the sort of clips that you get when you um put a door card on for example so they're on there so two of them go there and the third one does clip into the actual light fitting itself that little red one there so you do have to take that off and then this also then you can get your hand in there and then literally pull it back like that so just undo the bulb holder there or the lamp holder out with the bulb so just pull them little wires out on there and I'm just going to plonk that into there, like that. Let me just get showering out and I want to check that before I put it back together. I'll stick it back in there. Hold on. Okie dokie. I'll just put the... Uh, Just hold that there for a minute. That's it, I'll fade off the brake. Back on. That works folks, doesn't it? Happy days. That's it, just put that back in. There you go, like that. That one clicks in the top there. Easy enough to line up. There you go. And whack them four screws back in and job done. There you go folks, all done. Nice little simple job that. All that was needed was a 10mm socket and a little extension there and light bulb change. The other side would be exactly the same as that as well. So nice easy job to do. And don't forget to check out our other videos on this channel and don't forget I'm gonna be doing an oil change on this. Hopefully that should be pretty simple to do as well. So we'll see you in the next video. Just a quick one this one. And until then, bye for now.